Hey there friends, how's it going? My name is Kevin and today we're playing more BitLife. It has been a while. I would started to kind of enjoy real life for a little bit, so I, I distanced myself. <laughs> but uh, now I'm back. I'm ready to play more BitLife instead. <laughs> Let's get started. Oh, that didn't quite land. Oh, that's a first. We'll just edit that out like all my other failures. All right, so we're starting again. We're going to click on this little mouse scurrying away for a new life. Oh, wait, no, no, I didn't. I wanted to start a custom one. Um, Throw that baby away <laughs> just into the dumpster. I, I want to start again. All right, first name Ian, second name Fluencer. It's French. All right, let's start Ian's life. If you haven't already got it, we're gonna make Ian Fluencer and Influencer. Ian Fluencer is a cute baby. That's a good start. Maybe the parents can start throwing up some pictures of the cute baby and try and get a following right from the get-go. Your parents just had a baby. D Dave Influencer, it makes, it makes no sense at all. What was the point even having him? It's taking the focus off Ian Fluencer. <laughs> Another baby. Are you serious? Sammy Fluencer, what a stupid name. You'll never make it in the industry, kid. <laughs> okay, I'm 13. I think I'm old enough for social media now. So with the new social media update, I'm, I'm an Android by the way, so we're like 17 updates behind. But we can sign up for any of these social medias and uh, I think I'm gonna focus on TikTok. I think that is a bright future here in the United States of America. <laughs> All right, what's that old saying? Cast a wide net to catch the followers. So we'll sign up for all of them. I gave in, it came up. I just want to fit in. I already have 95 followers. That's a star, that's more followers than I have on TikTok. Then again, I only made one to watch Irish people driving tractors to popular music. <laughs> I have zero subscribers. That's okay, I could always buy some. Oh wait, I have zero money. No, I can't. <laughs> Damn it, that means I can't use the strategy I used in real life. If you notice a lot of comments just saying, I love and understand this video, and it's a coincidence. It's not bots at all on this video. If, if it, that happens to happen, like it, it might happen, it might not. How would I know? It's not gone up yet. I'm just saying if it does happen, that's a coincidence. <laughs> As a 13 year old, I'm going to go straight into politics. <laughs> Post a video. <laughs> Your video got zero views. I'm just going to start replying to celebrities, to, uh, Mike Tyson, and profess love to them. He didn't reply. What's his problem? It must be because my looks are too low. It can't be anything to do with the fact he's like, 55 <laughs> and Ian Fluencer over here is 13. Uh, all right, I guess I'm gonna need surgery, man. I'll hit you up in a few years, Mr. Tyson. Just please don't hit me back because you would kill me. Unfortunately, for some reason, my parents won't allow me to get surgery yet, so I'm gonna have to wait a few years. In the meantime, I'm gonna actually have to work on self improvement, which just fucking sucks. What does this road sign mean? People asking for money ahead. <laughs> you failed your driving test. I wonder why. Oh, oh, dance. Pick a major dance. Yeah, I can dance on TikTok. My parents are paying my tuition to go to TikTok dance college. And my looks are way up because I've just been pumping iron. All right, you know what that means. I'm 19. Time to ask my parents for a loan to get some surgery. $570, thank you very much. And you know, when I said loan, I meant like, uh, like I was sarcastic. I, I'm not paying that back. <laughs> Sorry, dad. Oh, my mom gave me $648. Yeah, she really does love me way more than dad. How do I disown my father? And what surgery can I get for this amount of money? I, I just want to go with the budget option. I don't want to pay someone qualified. Just anyone in an alley is fine. I could donate my sperm for money. 75 bucks is 75 bucks. Thank you. Uh, before I get the surgery, it might be good to write a will because I might not make it out. <laughs> oh yes, pick charity and then take a take a picture of the papers and post that on social media. You'll get so much clout. No one replies to me. No matter how many times I compliment people with these fake compliments, no one is responding. Visit the emergency room, please. I need more followers. It's an emergency. Oh my god, what? I can't even afford to go to the emergency room. All right, the real emergency is the state of my bank balance. Hmm. What about a facelift? I want it higher. Give, give me the turg, they call it. On my nose all the way up here. 11,000? Don't suppose I can negotiate you down to 10% of that price, could I? All right, Dr. Dover, your reputation is bad, but your prices are good. Give me a Botox. Yes, successful. Okay, looks up to 94%. I am litty. I'm ready to post on social media. Post. Um, a sexy pic. <laughs> you posted a titillating shot of yourself on Instagram. Your post got one like. Thanks, mom. Appreciate it. All right, it turns out I have no personality. Let's just do a gaming video instead. 30 views. Are you serious? Please. I'm trying to pick random, but it's not letting me. I'm scrolling up. Random is there. I scroll down. Random's up there. I can't. 
I can't get to our right, post a thirst trap, whatever the hell that is. I did a, an interpretive dance to a Lil Luzi Vert song and posted it, and my video went viral. I got 97,000 views. I earned subscribers, mom. All right, time to do my first promotion. Let's let's promote something. I I am a viral superstar. Your account isn't large enough to promote any products. God damn it. The trick is to just promote them anyway and just don't get any payment. That's what I've done. Every sponsored video I've done, <laughs> they didn't sponsor me. Why are they sponsor me? I just do it. It gives you a sense of accomplishment <laughs> to promote this corporation. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I post a ludicrous meme on Twitter. Your tweet went viral. I don't know why ludicrous is so popular, but thank God for ludicrous. It must be his association to Vin Diesel. It just keeps him, it keeps him in the, the public sphere, you know? Everyone's talking about Vin Diesel all the time. God, you're so beautiful. Someone named at cute323. You look so old, dude. Why do you have that name? Just replied to your tweet with a degrading comment about your neck while you do. Ask him to meet you in person. Has he agreed to meet you in a bakery? He looks about 70. He's more than 70. You have met at cute323 at a bakery. He introduced himself as 79 year old retired army officer. He's not very friendly. Ask him out. He rejected me. That's fine. Yeah, there must be something weird about my neck. I'm not sure what it could be. Someone named underhanded just left a cat comment. Why do I keep doing this? Yeah, go meet them. Oh, they're very friendly. He's a 40 year old real estate agent. Rumble with him. Squeeze his hand. I don't think this is rumbling. I think this is some weird type of flirting. I did a moderate amount of damage. Oh, oh he shattered my chin in return. Jesus Christ. Wait, I've been charged with this. I have been charged with assault. Are you serious? Slayer and Wu, I'm gonna go with you. I don't think I need a good lawyer to defend me. I've been sentenced to one year. Influencer, I find you guilty of holding hands. <laughs> they know people hold hands in prison too, right? Like, I'm gonna be doing it in there as well. Right, my looks are still 100%, so let's get back on that social media media grind. Someone named Insane758 just left a comment on your tweet saying nobody cares what you think. You're kind of being hypocritical there, Insane758. I'm gonna meet you in person. <laughs> it's agreed to meet you at a circus. Yeah, go meet her. I'm gonna get murdered. But before that, I'm gonna ask out Insane758. She rejected me and now she's trolling my heart. Oh, my brother died from a, a fireworks mishap at the age of 15. How can I somehow make a social media post about this and gain clout? I mean, my happiness is 100%, so I obviously didn't care about him. Maybe I can make a TikTok at his funeral. Underhanded1953 just took my tweet and made it into an embarrassing meme. Listen here, you neckbeard. <laughs> I wasn't planning on getting a job because I want to be an e-influencer, but I might sign up as a dishwasher just to get money for surgeries. <laughs> All right, I have two grand now for my dishwashing job. It's time to buy some followers, I think. Oh my god, that's such a good deal. Look at that. That, that. This is great. Buy more of them. Oh god damn it, they won't sell me anymore. Are you cutting me off? I don't have a problem. You can't cut me off. All right, now time to make all that money back by promoting a product. I own 147 by promoting a high-end apparel brand. That, that, that's, that's great. Now all the bots that are following me will love and understand that post and uh, surely buy their product. Are you sure you want to troll Jeff? Very soul. Yes, of course I do. Oh god, he's asked me to come meet him in person. Oh, I'd be a hypocrite if I didn't go. He attacked me. He beat my rump and whipped my forehead. Does he go to jail? I held someone's hand and went to jail. What is Q323's problem? Jesus Christ. Ask him out. Please stop rejecting me. <laughs> Either stop following me or stop rejecting me. I need to buy more followers, I think. I hope I don't get banned because literally social media is my life. It's all I do. My dancing ones are going a bit viral. Maybe I should just keep dancing. Oh, god damn it, only 37 likes. Okay, maybe dancing isn't a good idea. You know what? I'll just start complimenting celebrities nonstop until someone interacts with me. But first, Savage1994. God, if you were born in 1994 and you're already going balding, that is very unfortunate. But he said I look punchable, so I'm gonna ask to meet him in person. He refused. Fucking keyboard warriors, right? Alright, no one is replying. Instead, I'm gonna try and profess my love to Seth Rogen. Your Twitter account has been suspended. <laughs> what did I say? God, it must have been horrible. Someone hacked into your YouTube account and changed your username to all was Direct. You lost 16 subscribers. Apologize. Just be sure to start the video with... <sighs> I'm sorry. <laughs> And lower the quality as well, that's important. You gotta lower the quality. It's still suspended, please give it back. It's the only one I was actually making headway on because I was buying followers. Yes, it's been lifted. And my first post back went viral. You see, Twitter? I just gave you some great exposure. <laughs> you owe me. Wait a second, Yeasty Anita said a degrading comment about my butt. A meter in person. Why is it always the old people? 72-year-old retired photographer named Anita. Okay, yeah, ask her out. Rejected me, what a surprise. I 
haven't talked to my parents in like a decade. <laughs> I just want to talk to celebrities for clout. Oh, it's Mike Tyson. Now I'll profess my love to them. He didn't reply. What is his problem? Okay, I'm gonna start just buying followers on every single platform. I've been suspended for spam. What? I didn't post anything. I just bought some followers. My Twitter was suspended. God damn it. Oh, now I'm in trouble. I don't care about a promotion. I just want a viral tweet of me dancing. Oh, God damn it. Now my Instagram is suspended. Oh, my God. TikTok has suspended me now. This is going bad. How am I going to fix this? I'm suspended on everything except Facebook. And who cares about Facebook? Your co-worker dropped bread on the floor and then served to patron. I'd just laugh and watch it. I just wish I could record it and put it on TikTok. Workplace annoyance. Your co-worker Stanley, who's a close talker, gets right up in your face and starts telling you all about his latest knitting project. Oh, I've got a knitting project going on, too. Go knit some something with you, you bastard. Yes, I got my Twitter back. And now I got my Twitter pack. I, ju I just want a million followers is, is all. You earned less than one dollar in advertising revenue. Oh, YouTube, that's a surprise. All right, I've earned a bit of money, like not from content, from being a server at a restaurant. So I'm going to use that to get some more surgery, I think. Oinker took my raunchy pick and made it into an embarrassing meme. Ask to meet him in person, please. Why do all my haters refuse to date me? I don't understand. It's as if they genuinely hate me, but that can't be true. They're just jealous. Mary J. Blige. Just, who's that? Hold on. Mary J. Blige. Uh, okay, singer. That's great. Um, hold on. Let me see. No, IMDb. Twitter. There we go. How many followers? Six million? Oh, I love Mary J. Blige. A big fan. Wait, what? Your Twitter account has been suspended. Reason unspecified. I, I didn't actually do anything this time. No, please, give it back. It, it's everything to me. Mary J. Blige wants to know what I'm up to. Go away. I don't care if my father died. I'm banned from Twitter. Okay, good. I got it back. Oh, thank God. My happiness is 74%. My dad died, but my Twitter got unbanned, so it, it kind of balances out. Twitter is not Twitter without Ian Fluencer. I've been promoted a head waiter. I don't give a... I want people to see my thirst trap pics. What is a thirst trap pic? I actually want to know what this is. Uh... Thirst Trap is a sexy photo post on social media to attract attention. All right, yeah, yeah, I want people to see that. Come on. I lost so many followers. Why do they keep doing this to me? I'm being targeted and it's not fair. I got suspended again. I'm 48 years old. Please, this is all I have. I have no friends. I, I have no lovers. I've never dated anyone. <laughs> my wage is that much and I don't feel like I'm getting anywhere. And I, I, I only have my tweets. That's all I have. So please give it back to me. <laughs> I've been promoted to general manager. I don't care. <laughs> I just want to tweet. Whoa, whoa, whoa. The YouTube thing is kind of working. Maybe I should stick to YouTube. I mean, I, I kind of have experience in it. So surely I can pull this off. Oh, I posted a bit life video and it went viral. <laughs> Damn narcissists. <laughs> but look, I'm fine with it. I'll just become an exclusive BitLife cha channel as if it gets me viral. I'm fine with that. Yeah, another one went viral. <laughs> Alright, just keep doing it. Just become a one-trick pony. Just BitLife forever. BitLife for life. I clicked on adoption by accident and it just popped up that I can't... <laughs> it's been rejected because I have a criminal record. <laughs> I kind of forgot I had a criminal record for holding that man's hand. My Instagram got suspended. Now, like, why are they doing this. I didn't do anything except for holding that man's hand and buying a few bot followers years ago, like literally over a decade ago at this point now. Jesus, one of my bit life videos went viral. Six and a half million views. Good Lord, Influencer is doing way better than I am. I mean, he does have experience. He's been doing it for about 50 years now. My Twitter is still suspended and I can't get it back. Mary J. Blight just be so confused. She must be so scared. Oh, my mom died. I could probably make a vlog about that. My guy's never upset. Like, my mom just died. And he's still happy. Like, he took a bit of a dip, but that's probably because my TikTok was a specimen. Blah, 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 blah. Love interest while at the library, blah, blah, blah. I have no interest unless you're one of my haters on social media. I posted a video on YouTube of me playing BitLife Controls My Sims. And that's a good idea. Thank you, BitLife. <laughs> That'll be the next one I do, I guess. If I delete my Facebook and set up a new one. Like, I, I have a good following on YouTube now. Maybe I can promote it over there. Look at that. Oh my god, I took a huge boost. My TikTok is... My TikTok. God, I'm a boomer. I mean, my guy is like 60. My TikTok is unbanned. <laughs> Delete it and get a new one. Someone's getting mugged at gunpoint. Look the other way. We've got a lot of fans that rely on us, including Mary J. Blige. If I don't make it home, they're not going to see pictures of my food. You're officially a social media star? Oh my god. 
this is fantastic. Even though I, my fame bar has an exclamation mark next to it, which is not good. I go to the salon and spa and uh, shave my, my facial hair. Let's get rid of this. Let's get something quirky. Just something different. There, that mustache will do. Wait, why did my fame go down to 0%? Shave off the mustache. Get rid of it. Why did it go down? All right, I've not posted on the other ones. So once again, I'm going to delete them. <laughs> I'm going to make a new one and see can I get more followers again. It worked. I have 18,000 followers now. Oh my god, I've hit the half a million mark on YouTube. I'm doing so well here. Clearly, YouTube is the only thing I know how to do. And much like real life, my other followings are pretty small in comparison. YouTube is the only place I'm doing semi-well. Wait, retirement? Oh yeah, I forgot I have a job. Um, He's not gonna retire from social media, is he? Keep working just in case. He's 70 years old. And his YouTube channel that he's been working on for how many years? 57 years now is finally starting to take off. Life is so unfair. He must be really good at bit life. I guess he must have a lot of experience. Like, not because he's 70 years old and he has a lot of life experience, because he doesn't. He stayed inside on social media his entire life, but he's just played bit life for decades, so he must be good at it. I'm at 800,000 now. This is just flying up. Please don't die, dude. Please don't die. We gotta get to the million. Oh my god. It came up death, but oh, thank god my sister died and not me. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> Oh, that almost scared me. All right, to celebrate my sister dying instead of me, I'm gonna get uh, some Botox done. There we go, my looks are back up. Look at that, he's so happy that his sister died. He's in great health, his smart is amazing, he's big brain, big smooth brain, and he looks amazing too. You're doing great, E-influencer. Wait, what? Wait, what, 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 what came up there? Hold on, something came up. Did I get banned from something? Why? Why? I didn't do anything. I literally did nothing. Please, there, there's some mistake here, YouTube. Please, unban me. This is all I have. Oh, thank God I was unbanned. Did I lose any uh, followers? Please, no. I lost like 70,000 followers. Sweet Jesus. Uh, YouTube, I'm like 72. I don't have much time left. I did it. One million. One million followers. Promote a dodgy product now. Yeah, fishing bait. My, my followers love fishing bait. <laughs> any fishing companies out there want to, to work with me as a sponsor, I would love it. It would be amazing. It would be a perfect fit. Yes, verified. That meaningless tick that I never really understood. My fame is 100%. I also just turned 80. Your co-worker started a rumor that you performed sexual favors during your interview in order to secure the position. You do realize that I've been working here for 67 years. No one's gonna be aware of that. My Instagram is suspended. Why? I didn't feckin' do anything. All right, that's it. I'm gonna threaten Twitter with legal action. You threaten to attack whoever's responsible with a butter knife? No, no, no! Legal action, not- not violent action. Someone took a post made into an embarrassing meme. I don't like that. Meet me in person. A degrading comment about my legs. Dude, that's just sad. I'm 82 years old. Why are you doing this? Oh my god, I have a stalker. Oh my god, I've made it. I think my person has passed me out. I don't have a stalker. Oh my god, they've, they've passed me out in subscribers. <laughs> just like when RT passed me out, I will say the same thing. I am so proud of you and I'm so happy for your success. Like, I'm so famous now <laughs> on Instagram and TikTok as well, and people keep giving me troll comments and I always meet them in person. It's a bad strategy, it's gonna get him stabbed. Oh my god, I thought I died again, but it was only my brother, thank god. My guy does not care in the slightest. I promoted my favorite politician by accident. My video got 29,269 views and I lost 29,269 followers. Who did I promote? A million followers on Instagram. Request verification. Yes, this means everything to me. You replied to a post from Jerry Seinfeld and professed your love to him. He liked your post. <laughs> Fantastic. I don't know how he's still kicking. <laughs> you know, I have a lot of money and I've never spent any of it. I have 1.5 million. Can I go to a casino and bet it all on black? 1 million. Oh, feck. What a horrible hand to get. All right, I'll stand. <laughs> you, okay, I want a million. <laughs> I'm not foolish enough to double down on that. I'm gonna go to the horse track. 1 million on glory, please. Thank you. Go on, glory. Come on. What the hell? Sir Edgar's on steroids. He <laughs> came last. Well, easy come, easy go. Oh, it's, oh Jesus Christ. The first First time in my life, my guy's unhappy. The famous chef Guy Johnson described me as an overpaid inbreeder on social media. Imagine that, just reaching out to celebrities just for clout. Absolutely pathetic. See your 100th birthday. God damn, this is definitely the most successful life I've ever had on this. Oh, thank God, it's just my nephew dying. Oh, the Grim Reaper's never gonna take me. Wait. You'd swear I just edit these things in, but no, it's just my timing. But you know what? He was famous. He got the social media following. He never did get unblocked on Twitter. He became a millionaire. He never had any friends, lovers, 
property or belongings. But by God, he had his, tw no, not Twitter, uh, YouTube. <laughs> I think that is a resounding success. And it just goes to show anyone can make it on YouTube as long as you're willing to put in 89 years. <laughs> then you're definitely going to make it. That's inspiring. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed We're going through Ian Fluencer's life. It was very pathetic, but very rewarding at the end of it. But I uh, hope you enjoyed. I appreciate you watching as always. If you want to see more BitLife, do let me know. I have another idea that I want to do. Uh, and I guess BitLife gave me an idea midway through as well. Appreciate you. If you want to see more of me, I post every day. And I also stream over on Twitch four days a week. But I will leave it at that. Thank you for watching. And I hope to see you next time. Bye for now.